Hello everyone and welcome back to my Twitch live streaming of KSP's Hard Career Mode. What you're about to see was recorded on June 13th and has been edited for YouTube. Please follow me on Twitch to get notified when I'm streaming. I'm Tyler Ray's there as well. Much of what I stream will not be posted on YouTube. My current streaming times are Saturday and Sunday at 11 a.m. Pacific Time, 6 p.m. GMT, and also on Wednesdays at 4 p.m. Pacific, 11 p.m. GMT. Now on to my commentary from June 13th. Okay, so hello everyone. And let's just get started. I've got planned a little adventure in the cinematics install. So uh, we'll go to that after taking care of what we have here, which is a ghillie station. So let us turn to that situation. Alright, so this thing is supposed to rescue a kerbal around ghillie, and the rest of it is a station to be placed around ghillie plus its transfer stage. Okay, so uh, what is our situation on approach? Looks like we need a mid-course plane change. So we'll just get out of uh, Curbin Sphere of Influence to do that. My ability to stream today will be directly related to how much air there is left in the room. It's a hot day. Now, if he'll condescend to let me make a plot here. Ah. And I guess I can focus in on Eve while I do this. Your PC's fan is loud enough so you won't hear mine. That's good. I, I, I'm hoping that the music will sort of cover it up a bit. But you know my computer's working hard. Okay, well anyway, that's a pretty good plot here. I'm once again being very conservative about the approach to maneuver node when I don't need to be. Okay. No, no, don't swing around. It was good. You were fine. Come on, spacecraft. Is it better to make a plane change before or after a transfer? It depends on where the um, where the ascending and descending node are with the with respect to the planet. If if you are at the ascending or descending node with respect to the planet, then of course doing it right away as part of the transfer maneuver is best. But even then, some mid-course correction will probably be necessary. So I mean, yeah. Uh, the best thing to do is if you can do it with your transfer that's great but generally you can't you'd have to be pretty close to the ascending or descending node to be able to do it as part of your transfer okay we're currently crashing into Eve I'm okay with this we'll correct this as we get in okay continuing the time warping yesterday I finished uh, editing down seven hours of Mars related video down to 40 minutes so I'll probably have a uh, SLS Mars mission video out sometime soon could be whittled down to more than that though uh, the other way please now I think 70 was a pretty tight orbit around Eve so we probably want to aero break around 72 minimum The mission here is to deliver a station. Here's the contracts. We've got a new orbital station around Gilly to place, and we also have to rescue uh, the Gela Kerman from the orbit of Gilly. So the top part of this is the Kerbal Rescue part, and the bottom part is the is the whole station part, except for this. This is the transfer stage. Okay. So we're trying to hit Gilly. Looks like our approach is pretty high, so we're gonna have some inclination to correct. And I'm aiming for 72, hoping that's okay. Not sure though. Let's get closer in. Yeah. The thing about realism overhaul is, is, is I found it's really tough to do a live stream with it. Uh, I, I'll, I'll be working on that, trying to figure out how to streamline live streaming realism overhaul, but it's a tough one. Glad you like the videos, though. 
Okay, did I have these action grouped? No. Figures. Okay. Retracting solar panels. And one of them is broken, so... Okay. Here we go. That's 72 pretty much on the dot within, uh, within a meter. Oh, don't, don't deviate. Uh, I guess I'll have it hold retrograde. I put the hex, probodobodyne hex, after all. Uh, favorite episode, day in space history, yeah. Today in space history, haven't been doing that uh, because my Mars thing has been taking up that time, but I'll get back to that soon. No, no ablator, Wolfman. No, I don't think it's gonna sting. We've done testing in this series. We've been, I've been doing a lot of, uh, a lot of error breaking. So the only question is whether this is really gonna bring us down. Well, we're in orbit, and by down I don't mean to the surface. I just mean at the right altitude. Yeah, so, no sting at all, really. Didn't even have... I, I've got the little temperature gauges and all on, so... Didn't even pop up with one. So, maybe the dramatic music wasn't really necessary, after all. And how much will it take to correct this sort of thing? Uh, well, lots. I sense there's an encounter there. Yeah, unfortunately my YouTube videos ha are nowhere near where we are right here. That's how long it takes to edit things. Well, I think we have the Delta V in the transfer stage to take care of this, so I'm not too worried. The key thing is how much Delta V it takes to match speeds with Gilly, but then again, Gilly doesn't orbit very quickly, so it should be fine. Uh, oh, oh, shoot, I'm trying to fight against uh, SAS. Alright, let's get the solar panels out. Okay, here we go. Uh, okay, let go of that stage. There we go. Looks like the transfer stage wasn't enough. Hmm. Okay, come on, where's our... Ah. Did it only pretend to have an encounter? There should be something around here. Let me just continue burning on. No, our, uh... Huh. Okay, uh... I'll just, I'll just fix it at the ascending node. Darn. Let's just proceed. Okay, reminds you, when you saw me building this, you were thinking... If you had been present, you would have mentioned that I didn't really need the decoupler because there's a docking port there. Docking port? Decoupler. Yeah, you... you I, I just happen to always put a decoupler even though there's a docking port. Don't know why I do that. Must have been a glitch at some point that caused me to start doing that. Okay, Kerbal, don't mess with me. There we go. Okay, I think we can go with calmer music now. Oh, we've got one of the squiggly encounters. Okay, well, uh, as expected, it's gonna be a somewhat serious burn to get into orbit around Gilly. Let's not get into too tight an orbit because the Time warping is tough then. 
Mission objective. Get this into orbit around Gilly to fulfill a uh, new orbital station around Gilly. Okay. And then also rescue this Degella Kerman who is currently here. So that's our... We have two mission objectives here. Oh, good question. Am I in reverse? Yep. <laughs> well, that's that's no problem. Uh, I'll uh, I'll just keep retro burning. It's fine. Orbit around Gil uh, Gilly is no big deal. I can reverse this orbit. Tourist gets tourist gets experience points. How? I haven't done much of the tourist stuff, so I don't know. Do, do they? They do. It struck you as odd, but they do. Well, strikes me as odd too. Well, even for tourists, it's an experience. Yeah. Well, they didn't do anything. If they, if we could tell them to get out and do stuff, that'd be different. Okay, let's reverse the orbit. Why doesn't it recognize that I'm going the right way? Oh, that. Oh, because of the stupid. All right. Okay. Stupid maneuver node. All right, let's let's adjust our orbit before claiming our prize for. Oh, we've already got no. Yeah, we've already fulfilled the contract. Okay, uh, build a new orbital station around Gilly is fulfilled. Yep. Okay. Let's just close that, and we will angle for for our Kerbal rescue. Oh, maybe I should plot it. There's a chance that we can make the maneuver and get the uh, just uh, make the rendezvous at the same time as fixing the inclination. Have I ever rendezvoused with anything around Gilly? I don't think so. This will be my first rendezvous with something around Gilly, I think. Maybe. Uh, okay. I don't think we've got the right timing for it. Let's just correct inclination. Oh, three hours? Okay, well, there is an encounter. Okay, there we go. So, one more time around. Yeah, we've got a really slow orbit. Really low speed limit around Gilly. This is what, uh, 37, 38 miles an hour? Something around there. Unfortunately, we're slowly going around Gilly. And I wish somebody would petition squad to lift the lift the time warp restrictions on Gilly. I mean, if you crash into Gilly, it's your own fault. No hand-holding on this one. Installed Kerbinside for the first time this week and was amazing how much difference it makes with all the new launch. Yeah, couldn't add that to the cinematics one because RAM. Uh, the problem with Kerbinside is it takes a lot of RAM. And also, frame rates get killed around uh, around I mean if you've got the stuff right around the KSC uh, the packs that add those that gets to be trouble I I know I have the engine and parachutes combined yep yeah well, let's fix that right oh wait let's kill time warp fix that right now had to remove all the stock fuel tanks to make it fit in yeah well, that's not an option. In the cinematics thing, I've got uh, Ven's stock part revamp. So I've got the stock parts looking nice. So, obviously this the station part is not the part that we want to rendezvous with the Kerbal. It's only the top part that has to do that. So, now that we're in physics range, I'm going to separate off the 
Yeah, I'm gonna separate off the station part and just go with the top part now, because otherwise it'll be too tough to maneuver closer to the Kerbal. Okay, so, yep, let's do that plan. Am I forgetting anything? Uh, let me double check. Uh, we've got electric charge. Okay, let's try this. Cannot activate when stowed. What? What? What 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 does this mean? Why does it think it's stowed? You're not stowed, you silly thing. Oh, there's the the Gela. Okay. You were nowhere near the the service bay. What the heck? Well, heck. And we don't have RCS on this, because somebody convinced me not to. Oh, now we're good. Okay, okay, okay. Alright, well, that was a momentary glitch for no reason. I sure, sure hope I was right that this thing has enough Delta V to actually get back to Kerbin. It'd be sort of embarrassing if we rescued the Gela and couldn't get the Gela back to Kerbin. Can dock back at the station to refuel. Uh, nope, there's no docking port on this. This does not have a docking port. So that's not an option. Oh great, the track now playing is called Ominous. <laughs> oh, it just changed. Good. Okay, we're sort of drifting towards the shipwreck. Let's see... No, no, yes. There's no way to control it. Can you just get out together? Okay, can you spot the target ship there? Well, yeah, I guess you can't target it. Okay, just let go. Lights on. Okay... Not reading chat, doing the thing I hate doing most in KSB. Except for waiting for transfer times. Come on! Board. No, grab. Okay, grab. Now board. Okay, so the Gela is in the rescue pod. That's step one. Okay, so, um. Uh, maybe there was a reason the Gela is out here all alone. Dun dun dun. <laughs> okay, uh, this game is just wonderful indeed. And hello, Screech. A Screech. Let's land on Gilly since we are here. Well, hold on. Um, no. <laughs> I don't want to do that. We don't have a contract for it anyway. Let's wait until we have a nice contract for it that will pay us a lot of funds and then we'll do it. One thing we can do though is we did carry some science with us because we can return with it. So I guess we can do the science. So we can recover 21 science like this, and we can recover 14 more here. 
Where are the rest of the planets? Wrong way around. We have to go all the way around. Okay. Um, so I'm not going to shoot this back into Eve orbit right now. We're just going to hang out here. Looks like we're awful close to our other vehicle, but that shouldn't pose a problem while I'm in the Space Center. Okay, so back to the Space Center. Yeah, okay, we can EVA. Yeah, but let, let me get it to the right phase angle for curb and transfer first, then we'll go back and do the EVA. I don't know, haven't we done an EVA around Gilly before or not? Was it just a probe that we sent over there? I guess so. We've got a lot of parts here. Why do we have three parts? Surely one of those should be debris. Oh well. Okay, anyway, time warping, time warping. Let's focus. Wait a minute. There's a satellite contract for Gilly? Does it say it has to be a new satellite? Hold on, I have to check this. Position a satellite in equatorial orbit around Gilly. Must be a new unmanned probe, oh well. So close, yet so far. Mikey, you're all about the science. We'll see. I, as you probably know, I don't like to rush the science. I never, you know, science spam Minmus like, you know, as is popular. You know, I have the science lab, but I haven't exploited the science lab for oodles of science yet. So I'm very patient about my science collection, but we'll, 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 we'll check out what we can do there. A nice tactic if you have a life support mod is to take the rescue contract if you already have a ship in the vicinity, yeah. You know, I thought I had tried uh, rescue with a life support mod installed and it didn't kill the Kerbal. But that, that was Realism Overhaul, so maybe Realism Overhaul overrode the thing or something, I don't know. Okay, is this the right one? I don't even know which one is the right one now. Okay, not this one. Well, everything has drifted away from each other. That's probably the one. So what's, what is this? Yeah, it is the decoupler. Okay. We, we don't need to pay attention to that anymore. Okay, so what did we want to do? Uh, first thing is, well definitely turn the pod so that the hatch is visible. And then, EVA. EVA report. Keep data. Board. Crew report. Keep data. Um, so, I guess I guess we haven't brought back instrumentation data. Let's see. Can she grab it from over here without me taking her off? No. Why does it say can only be externally controlled by a scientist? Okay. Uh, all right. We'll EVA together and hope that she doesn't have bad luck with this. Um, let go. Light on. Is your light on? Apparently not. Uh, take data. Oh, that's from the lander can. Uh, where is the thermometer? I should have... Okay, we got that. Got that. Okay. Oh, bumped her head. 
board. Okay, grab. Why does it always tell me to board and then it switches it to grab? Okay. Alright, so we've done that stuff. Let's see if we can get stuff in uh, Eve Orbit, I guess. I don't think we're gonna get low over Gilly. That's probably futile. Okay, let's just go Orbit. No point getting too tight around. Well, no, wait a minute. Is the no the orientation? Nah, it's all bad. There's no point getting too tight around Eve here, and that's because we're basically going to be burning out from from around here anyway. We 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 can't burn out from the periapsis side, so we'll just keep it loose. I wonder if we can make use of the shipwreck part. Can we? Is it persistent or will it go away as soon as we complete the rescue contract? Does anybody know? Can we claw it and attach it to something? It stays, okay. Well then we better get rid of it or do something with it otherwise it's just gonna be debris around Gilly. This one doesn't need to be precise, we just need to be ejected out, and we are. Okay, we better get out into Eve space before we do anything else. Don't worry, I'll get some more science. Let's see about that descending node. Yeah, right there would be good. Uh, let me actually check the distance apart. Okay, one million kilometers. Seems like we're actually pretty close to our periapsis. Did not expect that. But not quite there. If this was in stock, I could use KIS to build a ship out of it. Ah, I haven't tried out KIS. I've got the I've got it in the cinematics thing because I want a Kerbal Attachment System there. Uh, and Kerbal Attachment System now requires it. But I I haven't used it at all yet. There we go. I think we'll be alright. I think we can rescue Tagella just fine. Okay, I'll keep it there and then we'll fine-tune it after we do the initial burn. Okay, well, let's have uh, Tagella do some more science. Uh, oh, it's still time warping. So, temperature scan, high over Eve. We'll just be high over Eve. We won't be able to get anything low over Eve. Let's do a crew report. Okay. And EVA. Okay. Now, proceeding over to our maneuver in two days. Okay, well this got to take a while, longer than I thought. We'll do a uh, physical time warp here. You can build stuff on EVA, but how much can the Kerbals carry? I mean, so the Kerbals can carry stuff, I assume, but can they really capture, uh, carry something big? I mean, how big a thing can they carry? Each Kerbal and seat gets an inventory to store any part depending on size. Yeah, but if they're gonna build something in uh, EVA, how big a thing can they carry with them? I mean, can they carry an engine on their own? I think this is the only helpful... Nope, that's that's about it. I think we need to do some something mid-course in order to fix this. I've tried all the main directions. Okay, so out we get. For heavier stuff, uh, they might want you to construct a crane. A crane, wow. Okay. Alright, out we go. Oh, winch or something. Okay. You can build nice rovers. Now, rovers, that's that's an interesting idea for... 
Okay, we are homeward bound. And let me get a mid-course change in. Doesn't really matter what inclination we come in at. That's a good start right there. Why is our periapsis that far off now? Let me replot everything. Okay, here we go. Is KOS compatible with Clockheed Smart Parts? I don't know. That would be handy, but I haven't tried it. I assume so. I mean, uh, KOS can use action groups. And uh, the smart parts are smart parts are action group stuff, right? So I think it should be compatible. Like there's there's a command that says just toggle action group, and that's it. I think uh, 30 kilometers should be fine. It, it won't give me 30 kilometers. Once we get into Kerbin SOI, it'll be totally messed up anyway. But I guess I might as well hint that that's what I want. Okay. On we go. Okay, Kerbin SOI, our periapsis is actually remarkably the same. Hmm. Maybe we should be a little bit more cautious. Because we don't have a heat shield or anything. We just need to get into orbit. We don't have to come straight down or anything. Yeah, let's go more like that. Should be safe, right? Okay, I think we're at a good altitude. Let's just go retrograde and approach. Which side is Kerbin on? I always try and hunt for Kerbin. Oh, there it is, there it is. Okay. There's the moon. Don't mess with us, moon. Bye-bye, moon. Okay, here we go. I think we can bring in the solar panel now. Okay, we are configured for re-entry. Um, shall we go dramatic music again? Keep her in orbit until she's been debriefed about who she was working for. Must be a competition. Ah, oh. well, I don't know if I have a choice. I haven't figured out what altitude to air brake at to keep her in orbit. So we'll see. Maybe she'll end up in orbit. Maybe she's coming right back down. Okay, let's see if she can at least hold retrograde with the help of the Probodobodyne Octo. Not Octo, Hex. It's a Hex. Now, uh, no heat shielding, no ablative shielding, I mean. So, I don't know how well this is going to hold up. There's mountains on the horizon there. Okay, that should be capture. G force is growing. We've got some red warnings. Don't worry, I've got my eye on my RAM. Got a more critical eye on these heat warnings, though. Oh, crud. Don't worry, Degella. Explosions are nominal. I think we gotta go straight to... This. No, what... What kind of change was that?
We are going straight for the surface, though. We are going to uh, directly land the Gela. Well, now that things have calmed down, let's see what actually exploded. It was just a panel. One of the always open uh, photovoltaic panels. Okay, below the speed of sound, parachute deployments, SAS off. Uh, I can't see too much. Where is the parachute? Huh. That's not the orientation I would have expected the parachutes to carry us at. I guess they weren't placed optimally. Let's get SAS back on this situation. Okay, well so far so good, but we have no idea where we're landing. Let's get the gear down. We, we brought landing gear specifically to make sure that the Gela would not topple over and over and over again on hitting the ground. Okay, parachute deployments. Land is probably at 700 meters then. That shouldn't be too steep. Looks like the velocity we're going down at is decent. Where are we? We're landing on Kerbin. We have re we're returning a uh, Kerbal who was stranded around Gilly. This is a contract. I did not personally strand the Gila. I have to clarify that because I've already stranded a Kerbal around Duna and stranded another Kerbal around Leith. This was actually a, a contract to rescue a Kerbal. <laughs> not, not my fault this time. Okay. Recover. Alright. 187.8 science earned. Thanks in part to the, the insistence of Mikey. 66% uh, of the total value returned, so quite a ways away from the KSC. But most importantly, the Gela Kerman comes back home with 24 experience gained, advancing straight to level 3. Well, that's quite a thing. Uh, let me just check out our contracts for a sec. So we've just got the tourist and the explorer Drez that we haven't transmitted data from the surface of Drez yet. Uh, let's see if I should plan some other things. Equatorial orbit of Minmus. Science data from space around Minmus. Seems, seems like all over the place actually. I'll have to think about it some other time. Let's hop into the tech tree. Plenty of Delta V left, yeah. Uh, got two around Moho in failed outposts. Well, Moho is tough. The Claw. No, let's not do that just yet. Well, we could unlock the Nerva now. Okay, well, there's many choices here. I think I should leave off of this as well. This requires strategic planning. Uh, 